What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now yesterday saw actor Jonathan Majors back in court once again, stemming from the alleged assault case earlier this year. However, the day's proceedings left things pretty cut and dry. His defense team issued a full motion to dismiss, and while there was no ruling yesterday, the DA's office has until October 6th to respond, then the defense will weigh in one more time before October 13th, and a judge will make a ruling on that motion to dismiss by October 25th. Again, pretty cut and dry. But what is not so cut and dry is the video that Insider released in an exclusive that apparently was hidden by the DA, according to Jonathan Major's defense team, part of the new evidence that they presented. And again, now that this footage is out there, we have to talk about what it shows, because if this is truly when they are saying it took place, it pretty much clears Jonathan Major's name and in full, I suspect this might lead to a full dismissal before this court case even goes down. We're breaking it all down. The latest footage and evidence presented by Jonathan Major's defense team that does apparently completely clear his name. But first, if you could, quick reminder, we do daily Marvel content at the channel. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider report or Jason story like we're covering today and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner. All you got to do, be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so again, this broke from Insider in an exclusive, this video coming directly from Jonathan Major's defense team, the same one that they gave to lawyers alongside this motion to dismiss. And the headline read, Jonathan Major's assault case, Grace Jabari appears unharmed in exclusive video, Marvel star says DA hit, where they go on to report, quote, the clip shows a sobbing pacing woman using her right hand to hold a cell phone, put on and take off a heavy coat and to pull her long hair out of a bun. This despite the fractured middle finger prosecutors allege Majors had just caused by twisting her hand. Majors is also accused of slapping Jabari in the head hard enough to cut and bloody her ear, but no such injury is evident in the new video, which captures her conversation with a trio of strangers outside a Soho luxury condo building. Now, Insider also goes on to write that rather than flagging this video, as the state evidence law requires, prosecutors, quote, sat on this video for almost four months and then buried it in over two terabytes of discovery presented only last month. So at least how his defense lawyer is framing this is that this footage should have been marked by the DA's office and it wasn't. Instead, it was included in a sea of footage over two terabytes where turned over late, maybe that office was hoping they wouldn't see it. That's at least what his defense team is implying with their motion to throw this out. But it gets a little crazier than that. Number one, Jonathan Majors ends up walking right through the frame in this video, sort of confirming its timetable, which is such a big deal. This video is apparently taken moments after, as close as you can get to the alleged event that took place. TMZ months ago had released footage of her later in the night, in the nightclub using her finger, pushing her hair behind her ear, saying apparently she had no injury there. And I think it's also reported she was with this same tree of people she had just met on the sidewalk. But crazier than that, Jonathan Majors again walks right through this frame. And with his body language, the way that he's looking at her, again, it being right after the alleged event took place, in my opinion, it definitely clears his name from any of the things that they say happened, happened. Now, if you want, you can go over, check out the Insider article. They rehash everything all over again from day one detail if you've missed out we actually covered it right before the trial started but in again my opinion it's looking more and more likely as we go on with this that there's not going to be a trial because this is going to be dismissed and again in my opinion if it's not dismissed that means that the DA must have a lot more that they want to prosecute on and it's going to be very interesting to see all of this play out in front of a jury when they're arguing the things that were included in this article like number one shots of the apparent injuries that Jonathan Majors say that he sustained from Jabari's physical assault but also over 32 calls and text messages from Jabari to Majors where she was making threats the kind of threats of the kind of thing that you would never want to threaten, but I can't say exactly by name during this video, so I'm not going to, but you probably understand the implication of what kind of threat I'm talking about here. And then when he finally got back to his apartment, mind you, where she had gone back, he didn't spend the night there. They report, quote, what Mr. Majors found in his apartment spun his concern into complete panic, a deliberately placed sentimental photograph, a lit candle, intentionally stacked romantic items, a locked bedroom door, closed bedroom curtains and no answer to his phone calls, calling her name or loud knocks on the door. 
Then, within seconds of the building staffer forcing open the locked bedroom door and finding Jabari unconscious on the floor of the walk-in closet, Mr. Majors called 911 and the first terrified words out of his mouth were, attempted, again, that word that I can't say during YouTube videos, but you understand and you can go look it up in Insider. This all being said, one of two things is going to happen. Either they're going to throw this case out, remember the judge is going to make his ruling, regardless of what the DA's office says or what the defense replies to that, he'll make his ruling by the end of October, and then if they do end up going to trial because it's not thrown out, then all of these details are going to come to light once again, and in front of a jury, this time probably at least Jonathan Majors taking the stand, I would imagine, maybe even Grace Jabari as well, then there's cross-examination, and a lot of this is going to be uh, rehashed and under oath, where again the threat of perjury sees jail time in and of itself, and everybody is compelled legally to have to tell the truth about exactly what happened. Look, I think I've made it pretty clear how I felt about this, and since the beginning, I could not say enough times when we were originally covering this back in March that he is innocent until proven guilty and I just have so much adoration for Disney now learning their lesson in a world where a lot of people really like to trash on that company. They did not cut ties with the actor when seemingly everybody else did. They stood by him and learned their lesson from James Gunn, learned their lesson for how they handled it with Johnny Depp and didn't rush to judgment. They let the facts play out and they're holding their judgment to decide what to do until the legal process plays out, which is what all of his companies, his PR, his management should have done in the first place. And look, did it look bad when this first broke? Heck yeah, it did, but I could not say enough times in those videos he's innocent until proven guilty no matter what anybody's saying about anything. And as of yet, he has not finally had his day in court which as it looks now, and again, in just my opinion, may never actually come because they're going to throw this sucker out. But guys, let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, quickly, let's talk about the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We are still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel. We're going to continue to do so till the PlayStation 5 Pro comes out. In the meantime, we've got three left this year, one to coincide with Loki, the next for What If, and one for the Marvels in November. So one, two, three for the last three months of the year. If you want to be entered to win, super simple. We'll always apply all the same rules. All you gotta do is be a subscriber, so hit the sub button, then leave a comment down below, because it's truly random the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on, and as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman, you can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter, at Empires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music, somewhere in this world, I go by All Fires, hence the AKA at the beginning of the video. For those of you who have already checked out my music and supported me, I cannot thank you enough. We're trying to launch a tour next year. I will be back with you guys for details for that and hopefully before the end of the year. In the meantime, I'll see you guys for the watch parties or back here for the next video at the channel and we'll be posting again real, real soon. Peace.